is Mr. Brandon Horlick, our school's assistant principal, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to Nichman Middle School tonight to celebrate our eighth grade students. Now, please stand and join me in welcoming our eighth grade student, Nicole LeConte, for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, please continue standing and join me in welcoming our eighth grade student, Sophia Cartouch and Marley Hartnett Cody for our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pair of us fight. O'er the ramparts we watched, or so gallantly streaming, and the As we begin tonight, we will be celebrating all of the accomplishments our students have earned during this school year. We begin tonight by recognizing the ways that students are engaged in our school community and have taken advantage of the many opportunities the Bethlehem Area School District and Nichiman Middle School are able to provide. Athletic activities, cross country, field hockey, volleyball, football, cheerleading, girls and boys basketball, wrestling, baseball, softball, soccer, golf, and lacrosse intramurals. Instrumental music performance, marching band, orchestra, jazz band, small performance groups, color guard, and band front. Vocal music performances, chorus, Nichman singers, Lion's Mane, Glee Club. Artistic performances, Nichman Dramatics and Stage Crew, Step Team, Dance Team. Academic activities, Math Counts, PJAS, Reading Olympics, Geography B, French Club, Spanish Club, What's So Cool About Manufacturing, Service Activities, National Junior Honor Society, Student Leadership Council, and Homeroom Reps, Lion Service Club. Clubs and Activities, Ski Club, Anime Club, Art Club, Art Smart, Heart and Soul Running Club, FCS and DIY Club, AM Basketball, Intramurals, School Store, Strategy Club, and Yearbook. Tonight, we begin with our Encore Teams who will be honoring students with excellence in their special areas. Hola, soy Doctora Sierra. I'm Dr. Sierra. There were so many different unforgettable events in Spanish class this year. From when I gave out the Florecita cookies and you learned how to say mas galletas over and over again, to saying mas penil, when Ryan's mother made us some rice and penne. Um, there are too many, too many different things that I can um, remember. But I also do have awards to hand out. And I want to recognize a lot of you. Um, I wish I could just hand out awards to every single one of you. Um, you really did an amazing job, especially going online and getting the work done 
asking me questions, being involved. And there were a few of you that I knew when I posted things at nine o'clock, by 9.05, your work was done. You sent me messages, hey, this isn't working right. And you know, you know that I had to do something on my end. And I really do thank you for catching me and um, correcting anything that needed correcting. Students who will be awarded the Excellence in Spanish Awards are Genesis Duran, Marley Hartnett Cody, Jose Green, Amira Santiago, Gianna Sierra, and Thomas Williams. Guys, I really do hope you have a great summer. Con amor siempre, Dr. Sierra. Hello, I am Mrs. Lund. My goal as an art teacher is for the students to see the world through artist eyes, to feel and understand the power of art, and to express themselves and their passions through their artwork. The following students have not only reached these goals, they have exceeded them. The Da Vinci Award is given for overall excellence in art. This award is given to Rihanna Epler. The Monet Award is given for the power and use of color in their artwork. This award is given to Kasaya Dickinson. The Van Gogh Award is given for artistic effort. This award is given to Gina Sexton. Congratulations, and I hope you continue with your passion of art through high school and beyond. Bonjour les élèves et les parents. Hello students and parents. My name is Madame Lair and I'm here to present awards for excellence in French. This year, these awards go to Abby Thompson, Brooke Rawls, and Chase Orinsky. Not only did they consistently do outstanding work, they came to class every day with enthusiasm and a positive attitude. So merci à Abby, Brooke, et Chase. To you, and all my eighth grade students, I say au revoir, félicitations, et bonne chance. Merci. Hello, eighth grade. It's Ms. Bartolacci. I'm here to announce the ESOL Awards. And the first award for the most diligent English language learner goes to Jada Perez Nunez. The most impressive English language learner goes to Rolando Ortiz. And the most improved in English language acquisition goes to Asael Hernandez. Have a great summer and best of luck in high school. Congratulations, eighth grade. Tonight, I'd like to recognize three of the many talented students I've had the pleasure of directing in Nichman Singers. The Heart of a Lion Award goes to a singer who is courageous in speaking her mind, but does so with the kindness and positive attitude. She steps up whenever needed and truly has the heart of a Nichman lion. This award goes to Katherine Krause. The Songbird Award goes to the singer with a beautiful voice. Just as beautiful as her voice is her kind and warm spirit. She is one of my favorite leading ladies and one who has captured my heart, Sophia Partouche. Each year, I present a special award in memory of my father, Rodney B. Fenstemaker. The Choral Spirit Award is given to the eighth grade singer who possesses my father's qualities of musical talent, scholarship, leadership, humor, and a kind and generous spirit. Like my dad, this year's recipient is well liked by everyone around her. Because she works well with others, she is an effective leader. A dedicated student, she always has flashcards in her pocket, ready to study, if just for a few free minutes. She is one of my most talented singers, learning her parts lightning fast, even when the harmony is difficult. Considering her many gifts, it's most impressive that she remains humble and sweet as ever. The 2020 Nichman Choral Spirit Award goes to Marley Hartnett Cody. Congratulations. And now, to present the award for excellence in German, Frau Sapka. Hello, 
My name is Frau Safka, and I have the honor and privilege of presenting this year's Excellence in German Award. Frau Schwartz and I are incredibly proud of all of our eighth grade students and wish them a relaxing summer and good luck next year at high school. The envelope, please. This year's winners are Devin Newell, Ariana Castillo, Connor Glinski, Mark Moser, Josh Friedman, and TJ Prestash. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Encore teams. Now, we welcome our core teams to the stage to honor our students. Before we begin our awards, Mr. Aim and I would first like to recognize our team members. From Northampton, we have Mrs. Michelle Wallach, who teaches ELA, Mrs. Andrea Hinkle, who also teaches ELA, Mr. Jason Vita, math, Mr. Rick Landino, science, and Ms. Jennifer Fair, our special education teacher. Okay, for our team East Stroudsburg, we have myself, Mr. Kurt Amon for science. We have Mr. Kristen Miller for social studies. This is Jamie Jarose for mathematics. Mr. Garen Daney for English. Mrs. Sarah Pogue for English. And Mrs. Heidi Lang for learning support. On behalf of the eighth grade staff, we wanted to recognize a young man and a young woman from each team who exemplifies an excitement, a true passion, and a love for each of the four core subjects, history, science, math, and English and language arts. These students may potentially decide to make their life path in the field. In social studies, the award is the Abraham Lincoln Leadership Award. For Team Northampton, this young lady is creative, passionate, and consistently goes beyond and above in her work. She writes with insight, wit, and brilliance. She would be a force to reckon with on a debate team should she decide to join. She leads by examples. Leaders are well-defined and have unique personas that make them one of a kind. She is full of personality and is not afraid to stand alone and be different, as this is what defines her true character. I would like to honor Isabel Morales. This young man has all the tools of being a respected leader. He has excellent persuasion skills, which I thoroughly enjoyed the many conversations that took place with classmates throughout the year. His positivity is contagious. His humility and willingness to focus on others' needs before his own will continue to inspire others in his journey. Congrats to the two-time Geography B finalist, Rowan Walters. I'm thrilled to announce the Abraham Lincoln Leadership Award in Social Studies. These students harken back to our, the traits of our 16th president. Abraham Lincoln had to leave our, lead our country through the Civil War and into the Reconstruction Era. These students show all of those traits. Ethan Hawks, Chase Orinsky, and Milani Lockhart. Congratulations to all three. Hello everyone, my name is Jason Vita. And this year I am going to speak about the Fibonacci Math Award. It celebrates the achievement, creativity, and excellence in the field of mathematics. These two students gave me their best every single day. They both demonstrate extraordinary problem-solving strategies, are persistent in their search for solutions, took risks in new challenges and concepts, have the ability to relate mathematical concepts across the curricular areas and real-life situations, are highly motivated, and possess excellent leadership qualities. This year award goes to Grace Daya and Neil Rana. The Fibonacci Award for Mathematics for Team ESU is being presented this year to three students who met the following criteria. One, they demonstrated an aptitude for math. Two, they demonstrated a strong work ethic. And three, they made me want to become a better teacher. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Mr. Noah Gouch Kirk, Ms. Marley Hartnett Cody, and Ms. Abby Thompson. The Language Arts Pulitzer Prize Awards are for students with outstanding analytical thought and creativity, for their hours of dedication to revision and word choice, and for those with a true and clear appreciation for language. The ESU winners are Silas Lisko, Michaela Lopez, and Emma Puxin. For my ELA award, 
I was looking for talented writers who are interested in perfecting their craft. For my boy, I chose someone who has a phenomenal word choice and an amazing and authentic voice. I think all of his reading might have something to do with it. My award winner would be Mahdi Ali. For my girl, I chose someone who is a wonderful technical writer and who embraces the writing and revision process. She often examined her work sentence by sentence, making sure she was communicating exactly what she wanted to say. This girl would be Sophia Satari. Good evening, my name is Garen Daney and it is my pleasure to announce Team ESU's recipients of the Newbery Award for Excellence in Literacy. The winners of this award have consistently demonstrated a desire to improve their learning through the analysis of literature. Both students have demonstrated an outstanding work ethic, a willingness to share thoughts and ideas, and a positive attitude, no matter how difficult the subject. I am proud to announce Angela Schrey and Thomas Kramer as this year's award winners. Congratulations. I have three recipients for the ELA award this year. My first one goes to Olivia Herman. The reason I chose her is because she is hardworking, determined, and always gives 100% of her effort. Also, she is a constant participator in class. She adds great insight into class discussion. Congratulations, Olivia. Second, I'd like to honor Elijah Kwan. Elijah Kwan is that student that always puts 100% into everything he does, but mostly he's a self-advocate. He works for himself, he tries to make sure that he can do the best that he can do so that his work is always up to par. He will ask questions, he will email, he's always willing to go above and beyond. Congratulations, Elijah. Last would be Javier Bus. Javier Bus is the most improved for ELA. His, he has improved his writing skills over the course of the year. Um, Javier rose to the challenge, really started to add all the content and details he needed and became an excellent writer by the end of the year. Congratulations to all three ELA award recipients. Okay, now it's time for the most awaited award of the evening, the Thomas Edison Award for Science. And this award is a special award because it is the, it is the coveted Graduated Cylinder Award. Because you graduated. This is where I pause for all the laughter. <laughs> okay. The two Northampton members are the recipients of the award is Caitlin Mast and Robert Matthews. Thank you. All right, and for Team ESU Science, the Thomas Edison Award, uh, instead of the, the graduated cylinder, uh, this year I went with the chemistry beaker. I figured every single time you're studying, you can kind of make it a rich, like a ritual just to fill this up and to you know, sip it while studying. So our Team ESU award winners for science are Owen Lansing, Tommy Williams, Jay Navarro, and Natalie Brzezinski. We would like to commend our students for their hard work and commitment to be successful students. Although grades are important, they do not define what your character does. These next awards recognize students whose true character has shown brightly throughout the school year. Each team selected a young man and a young woman who they felt exemplified the qualities of each award. Our first award is the Character Award. A student who exhibits personal qualities like those a community and school considers desirable. Their core values of true character include honesty, equality, kindness, generosity, courage, freedom, justice, and respect. Team Northampton would like to honor Brooke Rawls, and Mark Moser. Now for the Character Award. It's a student who exhibits personal qualities like those a community or school considers desirable. Their core values of true character include honesty, equality, kindness, generosity, courage, freedom, justice, and respect. For Team ESU, our Character Award winners are Avery Gruitz, Jaden Cook, Helen Dewey, and Jordan Thompson. Our next award is Future World Leader, a student whose leadership empowers and influences those around him or her. These students know what they stand for. They are motivated, 
willing to work for excellence, they communicate well, and always have the good of the group in their minds. Team ESU's future world leaders are Marley Hartnett Cody and Ethan Hawks. Future world leader, a student whose leadership empowers and influences those around him or her. These students know what they stand for. They are motivated, willing to work, excellent communicators, and always have the goal of the group in mind. For Northampton, we'd like to honor Grace Gaia and Neil Reyna. The Nobel Peace Prize is for a student who works well with others in both large and small settings. The student also brings a cohesiveness to the group to get the job done. For Northampton, our award winners are Sophia Satari and Ben Reyna. The Reed. Nobel Peace Prize goes to a student who works well with others in both small and large group settings. This student also brings a cohesiveness to the group to get the job done. The two winners from Team ESU are Chase Arinsky and Nicole Leconte. Congratulations. Important contributor. A student who is always participating in class brings great insight, questions, or thoughts to the topic at hand. For Team Northampton, we'd like to honor Caitlin Ma, Olivia Herman, and Logan Sheets. For ESU, the award goes to Niger Jones, Isabella Cannon, and Clover Lucas Mack. The 110% award goes to a student who never gives up, who continually pushes him or herself to go above and beyond the standards set forth. For Team Northampton, these awards go to Isabel Morales and Kush Sidapara. Congratulations. The 110% award is for a student who never ever gives up, who continually pushes him or herself to go above and beyond the standards set forth. Team ESU's winners are Jaden Gordillo Fernandez and Cordelia Troiani. It's my pleasure to announce the award winners for the Fountain of Knowledge for Team ESU. This award goes to a student who seems to know tidbits of information across all core subjects and are not afraid to share it. These students have gained this background knowledge from reading, watching documentaries, YouTube videos, surfing the net, attending camps, and through so many other avenues. This year's winners from Team ESU are Dylan Benway and Aaron Trauger. Congratulations. The Fountain of Knowledge Award goes to a student who knows tidbits of information across all core subjects and are not afraid to share it. These students have gained background knowledge from reading, watching documentaries, YouTube videos, surfing the net, attending camps, and so many other avenues. For Team Northampton, these awards go to Julia Madaska and Rowan Walters. Congratulations. The Rising Star Award goes to a student who increased their work ethic and desired to achieve success over the course of the school year. For Team Northampton, these awards go to Angelina Rodriguez, Catherine McNamara, Caden Snyder, and Bryce Fenstermaker. Congratulations. The Rising Star Awards for ESU are TJ Prestosh, Seth Kolb, Mayalani Rivas Alarcon, and Danielle Walls. And now it's time for the Thinker Award. Uh, this goes to a student who is a good problem solver in all areas of academics. Uh, they look for opportunities within the problem. Uh, they see problems as challenges and try and learn from them. They know when complex thinking is needed versus when to take shortcuts to find an easy solution. The Northampton recipients of the Thinker Award are Isabel Goldstein and Ali Vizaruglu. From Team ESU, the Thinker Awards go to Mahdi Khan, Sarah Rizzo, and Maura Maizan. Congratulations to those great thinkers. The Strong But Silent Award. A student who has quietly contributed to the classroom but usually does not get the acclaim he or she deserves. For Team Northampton, Alyssa Nadler and Wade Ruth. The Strong But Silent Awards are given to students who quietly contribute to the classroom but usually do not get the acclaim that he or she deserves. This year for ESU, the Strong But Silent Award goes to Enrique Flores, Connor Glinsky, Emma Moreira, and Haley Vasquez. 
scholar athlete, a student who balances excellence in the classroom while pursuing their interests on the playing field. These students chose to have, have also displayed a sense of humbleness and makes their accomplishments and their character stand out even more. For Team Northampton, Ruby Miller, Angelica and Santana, and Jacob Revere. The ESU Scholar Athlete Awards go to Silas Vixo, Noah Gouchkirk, Ariana Castillo, and Gianna Ciar. Mm -hmm. The Presidential Academic Achievement Award is given to an eighth grade student who has shown outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment, and intellectual development to their academic subjects. It is these students who drive our school day in and day out, doing the work and learning that is asked of them to prepare for their future career and professions. The Lamp of Learning Award is given to an eighth grade student who earns an A in every subject for each year in middle school. These students are incredible academic powerhouses and I'm proud to share their accomplishments with you today. Each student will be recognized with a medal and a presidential award for academic excellence.
now we will welcome our student speakers to the stage to share some parting words with our eighth grade class of 2020. First, we welcome Marley Hartnett Cody from Team East Stroudsburg. When I first started at Nichman, I was a little kid. I didn't know many people and I was new to the district. However, over the years, I've grown into a young adult. We all have. These last three years have had a tremendous impact on me. I've made friends I hope to have for life, had teachers that have made such a difference, and had experiences I'll remember forever. Even the way this year ended will be something I think we'll all remember. These last three years were probably the weirdest, most fun, and momentous years of my life. Who could forget all the blast science slang we created, or the Visco girls saving the turtles? Nichman has become such a significant part of me, and I'm sad to be leaving, but I know there are great things ahead for all of us. Nichman has taught me so many lessons that have improved myself. I've learned how to be a confident leader and a knowledgeable, well-rounded student due to all of the opportunities I've had. All of the chances successful at Nichman are one of my most favorite things about it. Like Dr. Mays always says, Middle school is a time to try new things and get involved, and we did that. We joined new groups, made new friends, and learned more about ourselves, and that's what I love about Nichman. Thanks to Nichman, I've dared to pursue some of my greatest goals. I've represented Nichman in sports, performed in front of the whole school, assumed leadership roles, and it's only the beginning. It's only the beginning for all of us, and thanks to Nichman, we have a a solid foundation to build on in the future. It's hard to believe middle school went by so fast. It seems just yesterday was the first day of sixth grade. Everyone said time flies, but I never really believed it until now. I'm really going to miss Nichman and all of my teachers, but I'm excited about high school. Ultimately, I would like to thank all of our excellent and dedicated teachers and administrators over the years. You've been there for us through it all, including a global pandemic. I think I speak for all of the eighth graders when I say thank you. Nichman will always be a part of us and we'll all be united as a class forever. We're Nichman Lions, joined together as a little family and nothing will ever break that bond. My great-great-grandfather, Adolf Franz Klingner, was an Austrian immigrant. He arrived in the US in 1904 where he started working in one of Thomas Edison's laboratories. Later in 1914, Thomas Edison asked him to start a spark plug factory. Together, they started the Silvex spark plug plant, which was part of Thomas Edison's automotive division. Thomas Edison financed the operation and Klingner was the general manager. Now, you all probably know the story of Thomas Edison and that he refined the light bulb. He once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. When I, I used this quote as motivation when I started at Nichman, but I realized quickly that Nichman embodied it. Every single teacher and staff member showed the same key value. You will not fail when you try your hardest. Through my three brief years at Nichman, there are some crucial things I learned and gained. I learned how to think outside the box and question my surroundings and my grades provided me with an outlet for my confidence, which slowly built up over time. But most importantly, I learned that time is a gift card. You commence your life with so much on your gift card. Over your life, you spend time on things like family, school, and occupation. But the only time your imaginary gift card runs out is when you give up. You'll stop having time when you stop trying. So, like Franz Klingner and Thomas Edison, you have to keep going until you succeed. Looking at the future, I'm not sure what I desire to do, but I am enjoying math and science, so I could see myself pursuing engineering. In that case, thinking outside the box will come in handy. Furthermore, the Nichman community does a fantastic job at nurturing leadership. There is the student council, where students can be elected to represent their homerooms to participate in school-wide decisions. There is the National Junior Honor Society, 
and leadership council where it's that set up multiple activities and fundraisers each year. The thing I remember most about NJHS is the Leukemia Lymphoma Society fundraiser. It was a bunch of work selling bracelets, but it was a lot of fun and it was going to a great cause. There is also the Leader in Me program, which is embedded in the curriculum. It focuses on goal setting and involving students' voices. I've seen it happen. I had a few friends who came to Nichiren shy and they're leaving with an unignorable confidence. Nichiren imparts students with the rudimentary skills they need to be successful. Ultimately, we are left with a school that is as close as you can get to poetry. Through its leadership opportunities and community, it imparts students with the confidence and Ultimately, we are left with a school that is as close as you can get to perfect. Through its community and leadership opportunities, Nichiren creates the spark that ignites a bright future for these young men and women and shapes courageous and confident individuals, providing them with a skill set and mentality to be successful. Thereupon, I want to leave you with one final quote by Les Brown, who, as Franz Klingner and Thomas Edison, did not see missing your mark as failure, but as a chance to become great. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce our eighth grade counselor, Mrs. Hip, who'd like to share a few words with the eighth grade class. Hey, eighth grade, I hope you guys are doing well. What a crazy ride we've been on together these last three years. And although I don't think this was the ending we were all hoping for, Life is not always predictable. But what has defied you and what has defined this class as a whole is your tenacious spirit to continue on regardless of what obstacles life throws at you. So next year, I will rest easy knowing that wherever you are in your journey, you are gonna thrive. Because words like resilience and persistence, they are not just words for this group. They are actions that you've lived daily and you should be proud of yourself for that. So today, let's not let COVID-19 or social distancing stand in the way of celebrating all your individual achievements, hard work, and all the memories that you've made. Today, we are gonna celebrate you. Congratulations, eighth grade, and best wishes. To end our ceremony tonight, we welcome our school principal, Dr. Mays to the podium to share a few words. Thank you, Mr. Horlick. First, congratulations to all of our students and their families and friends tonight. So often, we pour our emotions and energy into our children, but it is important to remember it takes a village of caring and loving people to raise successful children. So well done, families and friends. Next, I would like to take a moment and remember our teachers who are no longer with us this year. 2020 has been a difficult year for the Nichman faculty, even before the coronavirus issue happened. In February, we lost two of our dearest and closest friends, Mrs. Laura Ellis, our school librarian, and Mrs. Dawn Mendez, our school gifted teacher. Our heart goes out to their families tonight as we take a moment and remember them and for the contribution they made not only to the class of 2020, but to the faculty, the friends, and the community that cared for them so much too. Next, I'd like to congratulate our retirees and staff leaving Nichman Middle School this year, which include the following. First, Mr. Kurt Amon, our eighth grade science teacher, will be leaving us for the Quakertown School District and to take a new position teaching science at Quakertown High School. Next, Mr. Jeremy Hess, our seventh grade social studies teacher from Team Kutztown, will be leaving us and going to Circle of Seasons Charter School. Mrs. Barbara Cazero, our longtime serving art teacher, will be retiring and enjoying her retirement. Finally, Mrs. Heidi Lang, our eighth grade learning support teacher from Team East Stroudsburg, relocated to Florida with her husband due to work.
Well, eighth grade, we're finally at the end. It's hard to believe. I can say that I'd never had a school year like this before. Normally when I write these speeches, I think of a great song or I think of something that I can connect with, but I really struggled this year to find a song that really summed up really how I felt. And so in honor of not being in school, I've chosen to not pick a song this year and take some time and reflect on what I think you've been through. This is a year you will never forget. The class of 2020 from Mitchell Middle School will always be the class, and you may think in the negative, I, we didn't get to go to Hershey. We didn't get to do the band trip to Boston. We didn't get to do these things. But I'm gonna challenge you and say, you may have missed the end, but you didn't miss the journey. For many of you, if not nearly all of you, I can remember when you walked through the door as brand new sixth graders. There's nothing like that experience that you've had here. And although the end was bumpy, I can think of lots of times when we had lots of really great reasons to celebrate and come together as a Michigan nation. You know, when I came in today to get ready to do this speech and record everything with Mr. Horlick, um, there was something different about school today, and it was the thing that made me think most of you. It was the, that there was no noise. <laughs> Walking through a quiet school is not really a school. It kind of reminded me of the day before we opened the new school. It was clean, it was quiet, but it really wasn't anything without all of you. You know, I, I can imagine hearing the buzz of you trying to get to your lockers between classes and talking about the last thing you saw last night on TV or on YouTube and fighting over who was going to be at the cafeteria tables today and who was going to sit with who and wh who was Mrs. Hood going to send back to the other table. I miss you getting ready for athletics. I miss your asking questions. And I miss my morning basketball group who would come in religiously twice a week just to play basketball at 7.15. It's those things that I think we'll miss most of all about you. And sure, there'll be another class. And sure, in the fall, somehow, we'll bring students in and find a way to breathe life into this building again. But you brought something special. And it is that specialness, that energy, that vibe, that made the class of 2020 so special. You know, you are the 98th class to leave Nisha Middle School. Our 100th anniversary is coming up in just two more years. And I can gladly say that no one will forget the class of 2020. Not because of what you missed, but because of what you brought. And I wish all of you the best of luck at Liberty High School. You're going to be amazing. And I wish I could see you go all the way and graduate four years from now. Thank you.